Good morning, folks. New record high sea temperature recorded, but before the global warming parade begins, this is climate change with both extremes present as the ice breaks opposite records down south. After literally hundreds of earthquakes per day at the Canary Islands, we had only a dozen yesterday and hopefully are settling now. BP describes a substantial leak of oil yet again between the UK and Norway. They have shut down the rig until they can fix the problem or at least figure out what it is. Torrential rainfall in India has caused a devastating landslide that has left 500 homeless, killed 50, and dozens are still missing. Yesterday's largest quakes were accompanied by yet another volcano eruption in the Indonesia area. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico from last night, that quake swarm is enduring through this morning. And finally, a 4.5 struck Iceland not long ago. Very unusual. Speaking of unusual, that's a lot of rainfall records in one day, mostly on the east coast up through New York. There is some damage reported, even a few injuries from the debris. Torcon told us it was coming and it was visually very impressive. Here's this morning's pressure map with the high and low meeting in the center. You can see the wind force at that area and the primary watch location today for Torcon as well. Earth's magnetic connections to the sun are split between front and back, while the front side connections are to these regions here, and it appears the footprint is there as well. It's grainy, and you'll remember the clear Earth shows a front side connection, so we've jumped back to where we were two days ago. No solar flares, but this could change as an absolute beast emerges over the northeastern limb. A lot of motion with a sizable magnetic canopy, beta gamma magnetic class. I am equally concerned about the sister spot down south. She has already proven herself with a flare about a week ago, and we'll get a better look at her tonight. Solar wind still fairly quiet, still no major coronal hole impacts, although they are certainly expected. Big dark coronal hole in the middle there, that thin plasma filament to the left of it needs to settle down. He's getting antsy. If you have a very good western sky view and clear weather tonight, Sunset offers a beautiful Moon-Mars conjunction with Saturn off to the side. This is my sunset here in Columbus, Ohio. UK will probably have Mars blocked by the Moon. Australia will have the Moon over to the right. And West Coast USA, you've got the Moon moved off a bit to the left. In the next 24 hours, Venus will heliocentrically conjoin Jupiter with Ceres in the mix there as well in the following days. Turning around to line up Mercury with the Sun, tilting. There we go. He's lined up with Saturn at the same time. And while we got the sun surrounded, Mercury and Uranus stand in geocentric opposition. No big flares or quakes, but let's have our eyes open as the corona holes become geo-effective and the planets take their marks. It's closing in on 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.